Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever or wherever you're listening to this, thank you for joining me. Welcome to um, March 3rd's edition of Weekly Wednesdays in the Word, where we look at a short devotional nugget for our lives, hear from one another, and spend some time in prayer. The word for this week comes from Psalm chapter 107. Psalm chapter 107. And the first three verses set the tone for the rest of the psalm. It goes like this. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble, and gathered in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. This psalm sets the stage that we are to give thanks to the Lord. And why? Because he is good and his steadfast love endures forever. In verse 2, he goes on to talk about how if you have been redeemed by the Lord, you definitely should say so. And and then uh, for the rest of the psalm here, he goes into uh, some amazing ways which God redeems us and redeems different people from different situations. And this is all meant to bring us back to this verse, to give thanks to the Lord. Let's go in through a few of these. From verses 4 to 9, we see those who are wandering in desert wastes and just wandering around, basically are, are wandering around with no city to dwell. They're, they're exiled out or whatever. Uh, wanderers. And he says, Some wandered in desert wastes, finding no way to a city to dwell in, hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted within them. And then this repeating verse, every time we see the Lord's redemption, uh, be before that, they, they cry out to the Lord here. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. And then we see God's amazing redemptive work showing how he has delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way till they reached a city to dwell in, and then we get this refrain in each of them. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. For he satisfies the longing soul and the hungry soul he fills with good things. And then there's goes on to talk about other uh, ways which God redeems people. Some of them are in, in chains, in, in irons, as it goes on to say in verses 10 to 16. Some of them are sick because of their foolishness and their sinfulness. Uh, some of them are, are lost at sea and need help finding their way back. Some of them, and then he talks more about God's judgment or God's uplifting of the righteous and the wicked. At the very end, we get this. Whoever is wise, let him attend to these things. Let him consider the steadfast love of the Lord. So all this to say, let's give thanks to God today. Let's give thanks to God this week. And um, we can do that because we have been redeemed. And if we have not been redeemed, let's take some of these examples and see how our God is an amazing God and he can give us redemption and he gives us redemption. So give thanks to the Lord with me this week as we walk in him. Okay, that's our Devo for today. Um, I have a testimony, well, uh, I have a submission sent in. So this is from Robin Ifield, and he shares some of what's been going on in his life and, uh, and a scripture that's been on his mind. So without further ado, I will pass it off to Robin. Hello. My name's Robin, and when Adam asked if we could send in a short video, I decided to do that. About a year ago, a little longer, my wife uh, was not feeling well and was getting dizzy and started falling. And we ended up, uh, she went to a hospital a few times, but they ended up keeping her. And after about three and a half months, they um, deemed her uh, long-term care. So that would mean she would go somewhere in Saskatchewan to a nursing home or there was a program where she could stay in the house and 
um, I would volunteer to look after her. So I've been doing that for the last year. Um, um, so I do, I'm the caregiver and I make breakfast and sometimes lunch or supper and something in the evening. So I prepare food, um, do the dishes, um, help her to shower, uh, wash clothes, and a few other things. I also get to go out uh, and I have to find somebody to come in and be in the house with her for four hours or six or maybe even all day. And I just wanted to say, um, well, kind of to tell you how I'm doing. Sometimes I don't think it's going very well. But uh, that's the way it is. And I'm reminded about a scripture in Ephesians, Ephesians 5, 28, I believe it is. I'm going to read it. Husbands, love your wives. Sorry, it's 5. So the scripture was Ephesians 5, 25. I'll read it again. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her. And I do know that Jesus took my sins upon his body on the cross. So he gave himself up for me. And he's given me an example, an example to uh, love my wife as he loved the church. So I just wanted to add that on April 17th of this year, we celebrate our 50th wedding anniversary. And praise God for that. Um, Adam was asking what the Lord is doing recently, I think, and that's what he's been doing in my life this last year. Um, and it's a miracle being together for 50 years. We're both from broken homes and we both are abuse survivors. So praise God, that's what I want to share with you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you so much, Robin, for sending that in. Uh, that was really awesome to hear what's been going on in your life uh, in the past year, in the past while, and hearing that scripture that's been uh, uh, on your heart, on your mind. So thank you for that. If any one else of you wants to send in um, something that's been on your mind, been on your heart, something that, um, a scripture that's been uh, lingering around with you, uh, if you want to share a bit about your life story uh, or ways you've seen God at work, it can be as, uh, it can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, all this is meant to do is just to encourage the church. So if you want to do that, you can send them to my email and my email is a fair at Sutherland Evangelical Church dot com. Again, that's a fair at Sutherland Evangelical Church dot com. And I'd be happy to uh, include you into our weekly Wednesdays in the Word series. Thank you. Uh, take care. God bless and see you next time.